back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we're doing something a little bit different. So this is for those folks that like to endeavor in the yarny things. Now today we're going to do something called arm knitting. Now I know it's something that seems a little odd and some people have never heard of it before, so we're going to teach you my tips and tricks on arm knitting, and I'm going to show you how to make an infinity scarf. Now this scarf can usually be worked up in about 30 minutes. I'm not even joking. It's that easy. And you're probably going, well, not for me. Yes, for you. Y you. Yeah. Anyways, first thing you're going to need is yarn, obviously. So what I've picked out here are two skeins of yarn from Lion's Brand. They're called Hometown USA. And you want to go for a size 5 or a size 6, which it'll tell you the size right here, super bulky 6. I like using super bulky because it's a little bit warmer, machine washable, all that fun jazz. So, first things first, you pick two strands, okay? Um, you want to pick two, you don't have to pick two different colors, but you just want to pick uh, two skeins of the yarn. So, first things first. I put a knot in my yarn to keep it straight so that whenever I'm making my, my stitches and stuff, I'm using it at an even level and not using more of one color than the other. So I put a, a knot at the end of the strand. Then what I do is I essentially kind of eye measure. Eye measure is essentially when you eyeball something until you think it looks good. So we're going to eye measure about two to three feet of a tail because I like to do a long tail cast on. So if you're a knitter, you know what that means. Cast on is just essentially like chaining in crochet. So we're going to do about two to three feet of this. So we're just going to pull it like this. And you want a decent amount because you have to cast on your stitches. All right. So that's our cast on there. You'll hear me using terms called the tail end, this is the tail end, this is the working end. So when I say pull from the working end, you know it's going to be these strands here are the working end, these strands are the tail end. First things first, we're going to make a slip knot because you can't cast on without a slip knot, right? So you're going to put the strands on your finger and then essentially you're going to twist. And all I did was switch fingers. That might have been confusing, so I'm going to try it again. So you put it on your finger and twist. Now when you twist, and, I, and when I switch fingers, I did it like that, just so that the working end is on the top and my finger isn't down there. So you can either twist that way or the other way. Don't make it confusing for yourself. So we're just going to twist. And I'm going to put my finger up there, just like that. So now you should have an X. See the X? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put your other pointer finger inside that loop you made. Now, if you're just looking at it, your tail end is on the top and your working end is underneath. So your tail end makes up the top part of the X. The working end makes up this bottom part. So it's the one that's underneath there. So essentially what you want to do is you want to pinch that working end and pull it through. Just like that. It's that easy. So let's do it one more time. So we're going to put it on our hand and we're going to twist. We're then going to take the working end, pinch it through the loop. So one more time. We're going to twist, put our thumb up into there. Take your other finger, bring it up into the loop, grab that working end, pull it through. And there's your slip stitch, okay? And it's just a slip stitch like you would use in crochet. Now again, if you need to stop, pause, rewind, do what you have to do, please feel free to do so. It might go a little fast because I, I have experience doing it, so if you need it to go a little bit slower, you can always slow the video down. or you can pause whenever you need to or whatever. You work at your own pace. So don't feel intimidated because I'm going a little bit faster. So what you're going to do then 
is you're going to put that slip stitch on your arm. And we're going to pull the two strands to tighten it up a little bit. Now, you don't want it so tight that it's cutting off circulation. You want there to be a little bit of space, but not a whole lot. So we're going to pull that tight. Just like that. And I left about that much room between the stitch and my arm. And that'll make sure you have nice, tight, the stitches won't be so wide. They'll be a little bit tighter. Next step. Casting on. So you have your working strand on this side, your tail end on this side, okay? So what you're gonna do, pinchy fingers, you're gonna insert your pinchy fingers through the loop. You're gonna use these two fingers on this hand, so these two, these last two fingers. You're gonna pinchy fingers first and through and you want to make sure you got each strand on each side so a purple and tan on this side for me and a purple and tan on this side so I insert those fingers I grab all the yarn with those two bottom fingers just like that and I just pull my hand up so watch it again I insert my pinchy fingers through so I have two strands on each side I grab all the yarn with those two bottom fingers and because I'm going down I now just flip my hand up palm up now now that we have it like this we can start casting on so to cast on what you want to do is you're gonna take your finger up into this loop here where your thumb is so up into the loop and then you're just going to pull this strand through the loop. And we're going to pull it tight. We're going to do it again. So up, pinch, put that loop on your arm, pull tight. And we're going to do that about, we're going to say about eight to 10 times. So again, if you need to stop, pause the video, please do so. And every time I do that, I tighten it up on my arm just so those stitches are nice and uniform. So every time you make a loop, you're going to work, pull that working strand so that it's a little bit tight on your arm there. So again, we're going to insert our pinchers, grab all the yarn with the other fingers, palm up, go up into the thumb hole, pinch. And when you're pinching, you're pinching this strand right here. So this strand coming towards you. You're going to pull that up through the, the loop on your thumb. So up, pinch, pull it through. There's your loop. And that's the loop you're going to put on your hand. And then you're going to tighten it up. So you're just going to keep doing that until you have the desired length. Oh. And the more you get the hang of it, the faster you can go. Again, if you need to stop, pause, rewind, slow this video down, please feel free to do so. You're going to work at your own pace and because you're just learning this, it might not look like a whole lot at the beginning. So when you have, when you look at it from this way, it literally looks like nothing. Like it just looks like it's almost braided onto your arm. So, and then when you count, you of course are going to count two strands. So it's going to be both colors. So this is one stitch, two stitch. 3 stitch, 4, oh, hold on, that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and we did 12, so we're going to, I guess we're going to go with 12. So, now, 
and it's okay to have extra over here you can always fix that later so now what we're gonna do now you're gonna be working from your working end which is this side over here with the skeins of yarn alright so when you get to this point this is when we're going to start transferring the 12 that I did on this side to this side so first things first you're going to want to find your working strands which might be a little difficult since you still have your tail strands out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw my tail strands over that way we're just gonna get rid of those so what you're gonna do you're gonna pull up your working strands and then you're gonna grab the first set of stitches so you're gonna grab two of the strands and you're gonna slide it off your hand don't pull it too much but you're gonna slide it off and of course remember pinchy fingers are key here we're gonna pinch that working yarn and pull it through that loop and then we're gonna put that on your other arm and then to tighten it you're just gonna pull it just like that and we're gonna do that again so you're gonna pull off of this hand while you're holding the working strand so we're gonna pull off this hand pull the working strand through the loop as it comes off your hand so the loops right there and then we're gonna put it on the other hand and then we're gonna tighten the first couple of stitches might be a little weird to tighten but that's okay just pull hold your working strand and then just pull that down so we're gonna do it again and then you're gonna do that for all the stitches back and forth and don't worry if you're looking at it and you're going this can't be right keep going as long as you're following the instructions you're doing it right it's not gonna look like much of anything at the beginning but as soon as you get it worked up a little bit more you'll start seeing it so again we're gonna pull it off this hand and you can use as many strands if you want if you wanted to continue that strand until that tail was all but gone you can most certainly do that it'll just make your scarf a little bit wider so if you like a wider chunky scarf that's fine so we're just gonna pull it off the hand here pull that loop up put it around the other hand and tighten Pull it up and tighten. And again, to tighten the strands, you're just going to push it. So we're going to pull off, pull the working strand up through the loop, and then tighten. Pull off strand up and tighten pull off working strand goes through and tighten and we have two more on the wrist here tighten and there you have it your first row is gonna look like this again it's not gonna look like much of anything but that's okay we're gonna pull some more of this yarn here and the length and width of this infinity scarf is completely up to you if you like a shorter scarf then you just wouldn't do as many rows if you like a longer scarf then you would do more rows and I'm just pulling a little bit of yarn out so that it's not like trying to roll off the table on me. All right, so essentially, now that we've gotten to this point, we're gonna bring you down a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing. But now that you've gotten to this point, you're gonna do the exact same thing, except for we're just transferring hands. But again, if you need to pause, stop, rewind, slow this down, 
please feel free to do so because essentially you're now going to just do the same thing over and over back and forth until you have your infinity scarf. So I'm going to do one more row with you and then I'm going to do the rest in like a time lapse to some music. And then when we come back, I'll show you how to combine it together to make that beautiful infinity scarf. So again, we're going to do it one more time from this side to that side, and then we'll go ahead and connect it after the time lapse. I am going to warn you though, if you need to go to the bathroom, if you need to walk the dogs, if you need to do something, uh, this will be the time to do it when you have it on one side, because when it's on both sides, you don't want to be jostling around too much. So if you have something to do, like if you want to get a drink of water or something, uh, when it's on one arm is when you're going to want to do it. So you just pick up your yarn and go and do what you have to do. So here we go. So we're going to take that first stitch. We're going to pull it off. And we got the working strand already in hand. We're going to lift it up and put that strand onto this hand. Careful not to twist it. And then we're going to tighten it up by just pull, pushing that down. So then we're going to work on our next strand. We're going to lift it up off this hand. And I still have the working strand right there. We're going to lift that strand through the loop and we're going to put it on the hand. And then we're just going to push down right here to tighten it up. So then we're going to do that again. Pull it off, lift it up, put it on your other wrist, tighten. And you're just doing this back and forth. Don't forget the tightening part because you want those stitches to look nice and uniform. So we're going to pull it off, bring that working loop up, put it on your other wrist, and tighten. And with fall coming, which if you're watching this when it first comes out, fall's coming. If you're not, then, you know, for the colder weather months, uh, this is a nice quick project that you can do. And it's actually a really popular pattern. And essentially this is like, I, I want to believe this, this is like basic knitting. So you're just going to pull it off, pull it through, tighten, pull it off, pull up and tighten, pull and tighten. And then last one, pull it off that wrist and tighten. And now you can see why it doesn't take long to do this pattern. It literally works up, like I said, within half an hour. So again, I'm going to time lapse the rest of this. And then when I come back, I will show you how you essentially make the infinity scarf. So we're going to lift you up a little bit because my hand is kind of in the way there. All right, so when I come back, we'll be ready to essentially put it all together and make an infinity scarf.
your scarf. Usually I like to do about, I'm gonna say 30 rows. I am also 6'1", so I'm very tall, so I like a tall scarf. So your scarf should look like this. It almost looks like netting, but on the other side, look at that. Isn't that cool? And just think, you did this with your arms, okay? All right, so now we're gonna bind off. Binding off is essentially ending your knitting project. For those who knit, you know what that means. For those who crochet or don't have any clue how to do either, um, essentially you're finishing off your scarf. So what you're gonna do is as if you're doing another row. So you're gonna do one, pull that, and then bring over another one for two. But instead of keeping going, you're going to pull this first loop over top of this loop. So the first one you did, you're going to pull over top and let it drop. Okay. So then we're going to keep doing that. So we're going to pull over one, put that on our arm. And then the one that was already there, we're going to bring forward, let it drop. I'm going to pull this tight right here. So you're going to do that the whole way till you get to the end. So we're going to pull that. We're going to bring that down. We're going to let that drop. And this is how you bind off. And you want to make sure you do this with enough tail on your working end so that you can sew the two pieces together. So we're just going to do that. And it's force of habit for me to pick up the tail, so don't worry about if I'm picking up the tail or not. And we're going to tighten and then pull this part off. And remember, it's always the one in the back. So we have that one on our wrist. We're going to bring this one over. It's like leapfrog. So leapfrog, we're going to let that one fall. Pull that tight. Pull that off. And then the last one. We're going to pull that bring that over and then you have one more on your wrist and then what you do is you take your working end tighten that a little bit and you just pull it through so I'm grabbing my working end and I'm just gonna pull that through and because I pretty much did an entire the, the entire two skeins I'm just gonna pull the whole thing through nice and tight just like that and you bind it off now let's have a look at what you've done. All right, so here is how my scarf turned out. Nice, super chunky scarf. All right, so then my next step is going to be to essentially turn this so that this part here isn't showing because I want my seam on the inside, not the outside. So we're just gonna flip it over. We're gonna flip the bottom part over to the top here. And I'm just going to make sure it's nice and straight. And the inside part right here is what you're wanting to see whenever you're doing your uh, finish. And then essentially you're going to sew this with your fingers. Now usually I would use a crochet hook, but for this time I'm going to show you how to do it with your fingers. This is going to be all tool free crocheting slash arm knitting. So you're going to find your first stitch. And here is the beginning. So the first stitch is going to be here. So I found my first stitch in this one. And then I'm going to find the first stitch in this one. Which is going to be right here. Again, make sure you get all the loops on your finger. And then you're just going to pull that tail that's left through. 
So you pinchy fingers, pull it through. And you're gonna go the whole way, the whole length of the scarf. So we're just gonna pinch it, pull it through. And you're gonna pull it tight too, so it doesn't go anywhere. So we're gonna find the stitches. Like this. Pinch and pull that yarn through. And this is another reason why you wanna leave a decent sized tail because you're gonna to have to sew it through to seal the ends off. And then, of course, to find your stitches, we're going to bring that over this way. You just look at the top, and you look for the four colors on top like that, which, so you have your project here. Your four stitches are going to be right there on top. Same thing with the other side. And then you get your yarn. Which we're actually coming from this way this time. You get your yarn and you just pull all that yarn through and then you pull it tight then we find our next set of loops here pinch and pull through Zoom in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So you're going to find the next set of loops, which is here, and then find it on this one, which is right here. And it's okay if your loops are different sizes. You might have started really big and then ended small, or started big and ended, or started small and ended big, uh, just as long as you sew them into each stitch at the top. You should be fine. Find the stitches here, and then find the other stitch on this one, pinch, pull through. I'm hoping that this tutorial isn't too confusing and it helps someone. If you have a better way of sewing, then you won't need to watch this part. But essentially that's how you make the 30 minute infinity scarf with arm knitting. And we're almost done getting all this yarn through. So we got another one here. And then and you'll have the same amount of stitches at the top on both sides because you didn't essentially you didn't lose a stitch, so you should have essentially 12 stitches or however many stitches you decided to do. So you're just going to pull through each stitch at the top. I'm going to loop. And now that you got it through that last one, you're going to bring it through that last one again, except for you're going to leave a bigger hole on the end so you're not going to pull it tight. So I'm holding this part here and I'm pulling the rest of the yarn through and I'm essentially going to make a knot. Sorry. We're gonna do that one more time. So I pulled it through the last stitch there, and then I'm gonna take it, made a loop so it didn't pull tight, and I'm just gonna pull all that yarn through Pull it tight and then you want to find a pair of scissors so let's see if we have a pair of scissors here all right so I got my scissors you find your stitch cut and then I'm just going to tie a knot right there
And then we're going to cut off this other tail end as well. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to tie a knot. And the knots are essentially just to make sure it doesn't unravel on you or come apart. And then if you want, you can tie those two in a knot. And don't worry, because it's so bulky, it'll hide all the knots. Oh, sorry. It'll hide all the knots you're making. So all I did was take the two knots from the tail and the, the finishing tail, and I'm tying them together. And then I'm going to cut those. One of my stitches got pulled. All right. All right, so now that you've done that, you now officially have your infinity scarf. All right, so I'm trying to zoom you out a little bit more so you can see all of it. All right, so now you have your infinity scarf. And as you can see, there's the seam and then the rest of your scarf and to wear it you just twist it put it on so there you have it that is my 30 minute infinity scarf tutorial for arm knitting uh, obviously the video is longer than 30 minutes but that is okay again you we all work at our own pace so if it takes you longer than 30 minutes don't worry about it as long as you get the end result which is what you're looking for is this you're perfectly fine so with that, I want to thank you so much for watching this weird tutorial. <laughs> I hope it was at all helpful to you. If it was, please feel free to leave a comment. If you need anything else further explained, also leave that down in the comment section below. But with that said, I'm going to now bid you adieu and remind you that if you're not already a subscriber and would like to subscribe, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, I'm going to bid you adieu, but not before reminding you to always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys. <laughs>